How does alcohol affect the human body? Any amount of alcohol consumed will have an effect on your body. A small amount of alcohol may actually reduce your chances of having heart attacks and strokes. This is soon offset by other negative health conditions. Despite the general perception that alcohol is a stimulant, it's actually a mild sedative which depresses the central nervous system, which is why sometimes people find themselves falling off to sleep quickly either during or shortly after a drinking session. Alcohol contains a lot of calories due to the structure of ethanol, which is a common component in alcoholic drinks. The arrangement of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen make ethanol a fuel for both for our bodies and for vehicles. A pint of beer has about 180 calories and a shot of spirits can have just over 100 calories in it. Inside the inner ear are three semicircular canals which are set at right angles to each other. Inside these canals is a liquid which moves each time the head or body moves. This movement is then detected by tiny hairs which help the body to balance. When alcohol is consumed this liquid becomes thinner so it moves more easily it can result in small movements of the head inducing dizziness and loss of balance. Ethanol has a dehydrating effect on the body, leading to increased urine production, which in turn has a minor effect on hangovers following heavy drinking. A more significant factor is that the body processes ethanol. It first converts it into acetaldehyde by oxidizing ethanol with enzymes from the liver. The result is far more toxic to the body than ethanol. Eventually, this is converted into acetic acid and other compounds but the process is relatively slow. Acetaldehyde buildup can be detected by flushes or blotches in the skin of the upper body. The other major factors are byproducts in the fermentation process called congeners. These are present in greater amounts in darker coloured drinks. So by mixing drinks and drinking more dark coloured drinks, you'll have both more of these and a greater number of different types in your body. Now the alcohol is actually mainly processed by the liver, which, after the brain, is the most complex organ in the human body. Now the good news is that liver is actually capable of regenerating itself over time. Bad news is that each time your body filters alcohol from your body, some of the liver cells actually die. If significant amounts of alcohol are consumed, the processing will result in harmful fat deposits building up in the liver. If this drinking continues, the liver can become inflamed and scarred and eventually cease to function completely. As the liver becomes more and more damaged, it's less able to perform its job in filtering toxins from the body. This can result in anything from muscle tremors to build up a fluid in the stomach area or even a coma. The problem is that the liver, unlike many other organs in the body, doesn't normally give any direct signs of damage until the level is critical. There will likely be other signs around the body that it's failing, not a direct thing from the liver itself. This leads to the interpretation that all that drinking will catch up with you one day, whilst in reality it's actually continually catching up with you until it gets to a critical level where the damage is nearly impossible to reverse, something like stretching an elastic band until it snaps. Other medical problems associated with alcohol are cancers, osteoporosis, reproduction issues, heart failures, strokes, high blood pressure and damage to the nervous system including the brain. The positive side to this is that reducing your alcohol intake can either reverse most of the damage or reduce risks of alcohol related disease reaching such a chronic level. Like most things in life, moderation is the key.